Hello, my name is Frank Bullio from Sandy Bay Ojibwe Nation. I am here on Treaty One Nation land here, and we are uh, interviewing all our nations off reserve and on reserve membership. I'm Tyndall Fontaine, born and raised in Saging First Nation. I started here at Treaty One uh, early this year in February. Treaty number one is the first of the numbered treaties with uh, the First Nations and between the Crown. The leaders of the First Nations were willing to sign a treaty with the Crown in, in good faith and to share the land and resources. Right now I, I believe that treaty number one is stronger than ever. Uh, the seven First Nations are standing united and hoping to bring forward a a great relationship in the years to come. So I, I, I believe that the treaty was signed as a sharing treaty, that the Indigenous leaders here in, signed a treaty to share the land and resources with the settlers to allow them to immigrate and have their own jurisdiction. Every non-Indigenous person in, on this territory should know that they have treaty rights. For example, if you own property or plan on owning property in Canada, you're exercising a right that goes back to the very first signed treaties. Treaties benefit all Canadians. They ensure the well-being of both parties to the agreement through economic and political means. I think I would say thank you. I'd also ask a couple questions because I believe that they signed the treaties in good faith to protect their people so that they could protect their lands, their, their hunting rights, their jurisdiction, and hoping that they wouldn't be invaded or go to war, have peace with the settlers and the immigrants. I hope all the treaties, all the First Nations, exercise their nation-to-nation -nation right with the Crown, exercise their jurisdiction. I hope Canada reconciles their relationship with the First Nation people, to have a better relationship. I hope the non-Indigenous communities educate themselves on the treaties to know that treaties were broken back then and we're still dealing with it today. Well, my Treaty 1 community is Saginaw. It's home. It's always refreshing when I go back home after being in the city for a week. You can see friends and family. I believe that everyone's nice, they get along. On August 3rd, 2021 marks 150 years of the signing of the Treaty Number 1. The Treaty 1 Nation along with T1DC, TRCM and Parks Canada will be hosting 150th Treaty Number 1 commemoration. For update information, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. And check out our website for a list of events and thanks for watching. We wish.